cybersecurity doesn't stand still. It's always changing, it's always evolving. My concern is that the attack vectors from whoever they may be will change sufficiently such that we cannot respond in a timely and efficient manner. And that's a real critical concern that a lot of my peers also fear at the same time. What prompted us to advance into tabletop and uh, crisis control comes from the fact that uh, we want to be in a position to prepare organizations to be battle ready against the threat. We believe that traditional training is not enough. It's about going in the trenches. And on the other hand, the criminals do this every day. Criminals are battle ready. And our job as organizations is to be able uh, to combat this by being battle ready as well. And uh, for this to happen, you have to simulate the process over and over again until you reach a point where uh, a crisis uh, is just another day at work. In February 2022, we had a third party that provided a critical service at Standard Chartered Bank that was taken out by an Eastern European nation state. Um, it had a big impact on our organization because we weren't able to provide a certain offering to our financial markets clients. When those kind of things happen, it's really important that you get an understanding of what's going on quickly, but there's a lot of fear factor involved. Not so much fear in the case of tangible fear, but certainly fear of the impact to customers and share price and reputational aspects. It's very much to think, okay, can we shut down the internet, for example? Like, what, what is the impact? And then you see the chaos in the room. It's really dangerous, very dangerous. Does someone need a nap? Or is someone on a plane? Or is someone going to be sick? A lot of people think, you know, it's, it's very much IT driven, but it's literally life or death. Cyber crisis simulations play a crucial role because the essence of crisis confidence is crisis preparedness. And so it's never been more important than today that companies craft their own playbook. And that playbook, very importantly, has to address the converging complexities of the world of geopolitics and underlying technological changes.